this is probably more computing power than has ever been put into a Series 2 Land Rover, uh, even though it is quite simple. It's based around a, an Arduino Uno, uh, controlling a bunch of relays, essentially. And an Arduino is a really simple, easy to use hardware prototyping platform. And so you do something like this to experiment, because it's easy to experiment with and easy to uh, con configure before you move into uh, designing this up and, and creating a single printed circuit board. So this is all connected to our under dash pod, which controls a lot of the electric vehicle functions. Most importantly, the direction of the electric motor itself. So reverse, neutral and drive. Now everything's plugged in, we can turn the key and start the car. There's a couple of things to listen and watch out for as we do that so you can sort of understand a bit what's going on under the hood. You'll hear two clicks. That's the pre-charge relay when it senses the key turn. And then that triggers the main contactor, which is essentially the, I guess, larger relay in a sense that takes the battery voltage, the power from the battery, goes to the motor controller and then through to the motor itself so the car can drive. What's going on here is, although this is a lot of wires, it's actually quite simple. We've got 12 volt power running into the box and that goes to this 12 volt rail here as well as ground. That is also dropped down through this voltage converter in the, in the back here to five volt, which the Arduino needs to run as well as this chipset down here. The other things to look out for is that this green light will turn on when all of that happens and it will also kick into neutral. The computer will set neutral. And you see neutral. So with neutral set, that means that there's no signal going to the motor as, as to which direction it should uh, turn. So if I press the throttle, nothing happens. And importantly, that means if your foot was resting on the throttle when you turn the car on, it wouldn't go anywhere. But then if I press drive, I can press the throttle and the wheel spin. But the reason to do this powered by a microprocessor rather than in our main fuse and relay board is that we wanted to add some basic logic to this to make it a lot easier to use and to make it essentially foolproof to operate the car. The most important thing the system does is stop you from being able to switch from drive straight to reverse. So no matter how hard or how often I push this button, no reverse. But if I switch through neutral, I can then select reverse. Press the throttle and the wheels spin the other way. This chipset here is an integrated sound processor and amplifier. With these two brown wires, I'm triggering one of two sound effects, I guess, that then go out and make a nice little sound when the car gets turned on. Often when you're getting into a modern car, you sort of wonder sometimes, is it ready to drive? That was really important for us to be able to, when, when the car itself is silent when it's turned on, what means good to drive? So this both triggers a light through this relay and a sound file in parallel to that, which is just a, a nice thing to be able to do. Arduino has run quite a simple programming language. There's a bunch of code that runs on setup and then a bunch of code that runs in a loop. Uh, with those two things, you can do quite a lot. So what we're doing here, you can see, is setting up neutral drive, reverse uh, pins, what pins we're using for the input, so the button signal, and then what pins we're using for the output. You can also see you know, the light on, which is the system on light, the, the music output light triggering which sound file to play on startup, writing the outputs in out, what's the initial state of the buttons. This is really important because you can see neutral out high. What that means is every time you start the car, 
it starts in neutral. Now, neutral doesn't really exist for an electric motor. It's not really in a neutral gear, but what it's doing is not connecting any power to the motor direction signal. So the throttle input is completely disabled. That means that we can leave the car in its traditional gears, so in second or third. When you turn the key, no matter if your foot was resting on the throttle, nothing would happen because you're in neutral electronically. An electric motor and the motor control like this is smart enough to know that when it uh, has senses a direction change that it will just slow the motor and then start it back the other way. So it's not like uh, throwing a traditional gear stick into reverse and literally changing the mechanical gearing and, and blowing up the gearbox kind of thing. You can really leave this gear stick in second or third forever and only control the car through these buttons. And that makes it really nice to do a three point turn or you know, off road, sometimes you need to back up um, and you've got the flexibility of using any gear in reverse.